Hey guys, I'm Core Ross. I'm here to give you a masterclass on the new Blood Orchid DLC for Rainbow Six Siege. So there's three operators coming in this DLC, and in this video we're going to cover Legion. Legion is the Hong Kong defending operator coming this season and has a rating of 2 speed and 2 armor. Legion comes equipped with two primary weapon options, a 612 SD shotgun with a 6 round cartridge, a T5 SMG with a 30 round magazine, Legion's secondary weapon is a Q929 handgun. Legion's secondary gadgets are impact grenades or deployable cover. Legion's primary gadget is his goo mine. This is a mine that will detonate if an enemy player walks over it. It will also slow that enemy player down and stop them from sprinting. Plus, it will also do damage over time unless the enemy player pulls out the needle. Now that we have the basics out of the way, let's talk about how to dominate with Legion in Rainbow Six Siege. So first of all, you need to know how this trap works and how versatile it is. So first of all, it almost goes completely invisible. Now if it's placed in direct sunlight, it is pretty much entirely invisible. Whereas in darker areas, it is a little bit more visible to see. Now certainly if you put this underneath, for instance, a door, people are probably going to look there. If you put it under a window, people are also probably going to look there and they're gonna be kind of predictable places for these traps to be placed. However, you can get very, very creative. So first of all, you can just put it into places people will definitely walk through, like corridors or approaches to objectives. You can put them outside the map, outside objective windows. You can even put them outside the windowsill off a window. Now you have to get the placement just right. It has to be on like the second half on the outside. If it's any closer, when you actually barricade that window up, it'll get destroyed. But if you get it just right, or if you don't even barricade the window up at all, you can just leave these on the windowsill. Someone will actually repel up, and when they pass it, it will detonate. They will start to take damage, and they will actually have to go up or down to get off the repel in order to actually pull the needle out. Now, the biggest thing about these mines is that it's unpredictable how the enemy is going to react. So, for instance, I was able to make Legion a bit surprised by pushing on into an objective while taking damage from his needle. And I almost died, but I managed to just win the game. So you have to be prepared for people not just stopping, pulling that needle out and retreating or something. Instead, you have to be prepared for these, actually these people to just keep pushing through these mines. And even though it does stop you sprinting, an operator can still move relatively fast, even at the walking speed. So be wary of people continuing to push up even after the mine goes off. Now the versatility of Legion's mine is huge. First of all, it shows up on Legion's HUD, so he actually knows when it's detonated. It also makes a noise, so it's a great audio indicator of which way an enemy is coming from, especially if you're only up against one opponent that's left. And it also does damage to the enemy. They have to decide whether they keep pushing while taking damage or they stop, pull the needle out, potentially then get shot while they're defenseless it is really really good and you can use it in so many positions you can have it outside the map inside the map you can have it on the actual objective room or outside the objective room or different locations you think people are going to go to if there's a roof hatch above the objective you can put one up there so if someone actually tries to breach that hatch panel they'll actually get poisoned as well and because you've got a hud indicator on your screen of where that mine is it'll also let you know that someone is up there so it is an amazingly versatile gadget and because you don't really need to work with teammates with it you can easily just solo this and put them anywhere you want and protect say a certain area of the map protect the objective you can play it so many different ways with legion and because you can tell teammates that someone's just gone over a mine on the other side of the map you can tell them where enemies are as well so it can be great to work as a team with legion too now the other thing is he can team up with other operators for instance, he can team up with Frost and actually get insta-kills with Frost's welcome mat. So this only works in a certain direction. So if Legion's mines in front of the mat and that person gets poisoned first, then goes into the welcome mat, the actual poison effect just disappears. If that person walks over the mat, gets captured by the mat, and then the Legion trap is on the other side of the map, that will actually detonate on the other side and insta-kill whoever walks onto it, which is a great tactic to use in the game. Now, Legion has seven of these in total, but he only has one to begin with, and you'll have two just after the preparation phase is finished. 
So those first two mines can be very crucial in where you put them. But you don't have to put them down to begin with. You could hold on to them. Now it's a bit risky because if you die, then those mines are useless. But if you hold on to them, wait to see which way the enemy are coming from, then you can start putting them out and it will really slow down the enemy and do a considerable amount of damage. Now these mines can be detected by IQ and they can be destroyed by Twitch. So I would keep them away from things like drone holes because IQ might be able to get eyes on them and then shoot them from the safety of an other side of an indestructible wall. And certainly with Twitch, you can easily drive through that drone hole and might well see your mine just sitting there. So certainly you want to place these mines in places that the enemy is definitely going to walk, but not too obvious, not like right next to a door and things like that. And another thing you don't want to do is actually cluster them up. You don't want to have them too close to each other because the enemy player will actually only take 10 damage per mine and only take one damage over time from one of those mines. So that means they'll only have to pull out one needle. So you don't want to cluster all seven up into one location because you won't actually kill a player with that. You don't want to cluster them all up in one place because you'll only do a total of 70 damage. And then the enemy player only has to actually pull out one needle. Now there's only one other thing to discuss and that is Legion's primary weapon choice and which one to choose. So the 612 SD shotgun is actually incredibly good. Even though it's the SD variant of what's on the attacker side, the damage output is still incredibly good. And it's very good for making holes in walls and certainly for defending a room or an objective area. Now the SMG is probably my preferred choice but that's more from my playstyle. I usually use these mines more like motion sensors, letting me know where enemy locations are and then I can move on them. But you can certainly use the shotgun very, very well. So it's up to your playstyle. If you're holding down an area, I recommend the shotgun. If you decide to roam, I would say take the SMG. So thank you everyone for watching this short masterclass on Play and Legion. Make sure to check out my masterclasses on Ella and Ying as well. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time.